Okay, a SWOT um, PowerPoint um, is available for you to download and there's a number of slides on this but I'm really just going to focus on this one particular slide um, which is provides a template. Um, the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. You know, a SWOT is always part of um, an exam, a section C question, so you certainly need to know how to do it. Um, you will get in the exam stimulus in which to um, um, construct your SWOT and they usually ask for about three to five points in any particular quadrant. Um, so you, um, th even though we uh, provide, I mean this PowerPoint provides dot points here, um, you don't necessarily have to learn this um, rote fashion. Um, um, uh, but it gives you an idea as to the kind of things that we might be looking at. Um, you're going to be doing some section C questions, that's the best way to go about the, um, the SWOT. Um, I don't think it's particularly um, a business skill, the questions in the exams. I think anybody um, could do it with a firm grasp of English. Um, I think it's more of an English test than it is a business studies test. However, um, let's just run through this quickly here. Um, one of the things you need to be aware of is that it can sometimes be confusing bet um, between what is a strength and an opportunity and the difference between a weakness and a threat. The key is this, and even though it's not included in the syllabus, and not really referred to in exam questions, I think it really does help if you consider that strengths and weaknesses are internal. It's inside the business. These are things that the business has a firm control of, or total control of. Whereas opportunities and threats are things that the business has no control of, or only a little control of. So, um, so you could say then internal versus external. Strengths and weaknesses internal, opportunities and threats external. So if you're looking at some stimulus and you've got a point and you're going, mm, not sure if that's a strength or an opportunity, you just have to think, is it internal or is it external? Um, traditionally, the points that have been more difficult to get are the external points the opportunities and threats. And if you are in a situation where you're struggling to find these, um, can I just say, number one, as is at the top of that list, competitors. Competitors um, will always provide opportunities and threats. Um, the third point on that dot list there is the economy. I suggest that that's another really important opportunity or threat. And before an exam, I would recommend that you know what the key economic indicators are. What is the level, inflation, level of inflation? Um, what is the unemployment uh, figures, etc., etc. So um, that should be quite interesting this year, as things, as we know, are changing um, very, very fast. And so um, where you've got an economy, as I think we discussed last week, um, um, or the week before, where you've got an economy uh, which is weak, it does provide some opportunities, notwithstanding the problems it can present to a business. So um, these dot points represent things that you can um, check out and consider. But as I said, by and large, a SWOT is stimulus based and you'll get the points from the question itself. So the best thing to do is to go off and uh, look at last year's exam paper and previous exam papers, section C questions and practice constructing a SWOT, which should always be in a quadrant. And I would always put internal and external on there even if it's not asked for. Okay, thank you.